Okay, Itamek's Kanatoni. Good morning. It is just after dawn on Friday, November 2nd, 2018, in the lunar cycle Itotstui when cold arrives. And we still got pretty mellow temperatures, actually, considering how deep we are into this first winter lunar cycle. Um, I'm on my way over this morning to an address just in my neighborhood. I could have easily walked over, but. Um, I've got a trap to carry, so <laughs> I decided to load in the Jeep. But um, apparently there's been a skunk and badger both vying for uh, a burrow underneath somebody's concrete pad or their steps or something like this uh, here in the Heritage neighborhood of West Lethbridge. And last week, I believe, there was a confrontation between the skunk and the badger that got bloody. Um, John, the other uh, pest control guy, had had uh, been dealing with it, and I guess they caught the skunk now. So the skunk was removed this morning, but when uh, when the residents got up to look at what was going on, they saw the skunk was in the trap, and the badger was kind of like standing on top of the trap <laughs> with the skunk inside of it. Um, a clear victory. Anyway, now they want the badger out. And nobody really deals with badgers, so this is going to be a, a, another uh, attempt by me to do so. Um, I don't have my badger system totally sorted out just yet. <laughs> but I've got some sardines in a trap, so we're going to see what we can do. Yeah, I can smell a little residual skunk. You can see the earth was taken. Look at this excavation. Wow. So this is where the badgers stand. <laughs> Apparently. You gotta be Ryan. Yeah, I'm Ryan. Yeah. Wow. Oh, there was a skunk trap totally buried under that. Because what happened, the skunk got caught last night. He was under here. Yeah. This badger, I've seen him for about two years in the back alley, in the guy's front yard, whatever. He's been around. Yeah, so he's been around. But anyway, so the, the skunk got caught last night because right. my neighbor came home at about 11. Right. And, he, and he says, oh yeah, your skunk's under there. He came out this morning <laughs> with me. And I said, yeah, just wait a minute, Ryan. Because that was his name too. Yeah. And sure enough, the badger comes out, climbs up on top of the mound, and just sits there like, okay, this is mine. Wow. So he just buried the skunk. Yeah, he did. And, he was, <laughs> and then <laughs> sat on they've it. They've been they've been battling anyway, have they? Um, I don't know if they have or not. We've never smelled anything from the skunk. Well, now you do because of the dirt, right, where the guys took the trap out. And the skunk was still alive. Oh, okay. So they're taking him out to Blairmore yeah. and let him go out there. Right. <clears throat> but he made it. Wow, that's an excavation. Oh, this was this was like unbelievable, like <laughs> something out of you know Wild Kingdom or whatever. Yeah. Because all morning, traffic. all morning, that huge mound was about half that high again. Yeah. The badger was sitting on top of it the whole time. That's crazy. He didn't care about people or anything. Okay, just about twenty-four hours later. <laughs> Um, Saturday, the morning of Saturday the 3rd, and I'm off to check the badger trap. Haven't heard anything from the residents there, so probably there's nothing in my trap. However, I did set up a camera, a game cam, uh, out there yesterday afternoon to see if we can catch any film, at least, of the badger checking out the trap and what happened. So, we're gonna go look and take a look and see. All right, so trap is closed with no badger. Badger hole is open, so he must have come out last night. He's done some more digging, it looks like. Isn't that funny? Yeah, I was just yeah, like, I was just out here like two minutes ago. Yeah, I was, when I was pulling up, I saw you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he he came back out. He's doing a little more digging. And yeah, well, I got a. I set. I came up yesterday afternoon and set up a camera, so we're gonna see what's on the camera at least. Yeah, see. you know, I looked out this morning and I went, God, that looks like one of those trail cams. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he's. But you know what's really funny? During the night, around about 1:30, all of a sudden you could smell the skunk again. You could, hey. But it's him. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's he's pretty closely related. You see what's right above there? No, on the wall here. Fresh air intake. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you get it in the house. <laughs> Okay, Idamek Skanatani, good morning. It is just after dawn, just after 8 a.m. here on uh, Monday, November 5th, and we're rolling into what, third or fourth day of this video? And I've just stopped over here to check my badger trap, and it looks like the trap is closed, but that it has nothing in it. Let me see if I've got my little, I've got a little thing here so I can download what's on the um, game cam. Let's go check it out. Yeah, my attempts to catch this badger have not been going well. So I rebaited, I ended up rebaiting with a liver. Got a beef liver and I even put some outside here but the badger has had none of it. Trap is closed, no telling exactly why. There is some little footprints here, so there might have been a cat or something that stopped by, possibly. Although I think it would have taken the liver. The badger hole itself is uh, wide open, which it wasn't. It was backfilled the day he was actually sleeping in there. So, I'm thinking he's moved on. You know, badgers have a, they have a bunch of different um, dens across a pretty wide territory. So they, um, they'll use one for a few nights and move on somewhere else. You know, they just move on with the food source. And I don't know why this one was here in particular, but the, the homeowner did say that over the summer there was a ground squirrel that had dug in here and had dug under there neighbor's drive pad here so maybe the badger could smell that ground squirrel and was poking around but definitely hasn't come to you know that liver's been out here two days now so i really don't think we're gonna catch him at this point at this location here um but i'll talk to the homeowners about that later right now i'm just going to download what's on the the game cam here onto my home unit so i can check it out and see if he's visited at all moving ahead to tuesday morning now november 6th and still on the badger case as you saw from the images that i had on my game cam on uh saturday sunday night it was really nothing but a cat visiting um, the trap and I actually don't believe that the badger is still in there in that uh, or using that den right now I think he took off because the den isn't hasn't been backfilled again like it was the day that we know he was sleeping in there and he hasn't shown up on the on the game cam so I've just pulled up at the residence now um, I'm gonna collect the the trap and the camera just peek down the hole to be sure uh, with a flashlight or a scope, whatever I have to use, uh, make sure the badger's not there, and then I'll let the homeowners know that they can um, patch things up. Yeah, it goes back a ways, but he's yeah. not, he's not in there. But yeah, he's he's got it pretty deep, <laughs> or not deep, but uh, just a long ways along the side of the house here. Yeah. Not sure how well you guys were able to see it on video. I'll check that out when I get home. But that, well, there was nobody in the hole and that excavation was really impressive. I think it went the whole length of that, that side of the foundation of the house. Um, and that was something that the badger, you know, did as a project in like two nights. <laughs> and he might not have even done much excavation the second night, you know. Uh, from what we saw in our video, so it's quite quite impressive um, I'm gonna head back to the heritage neighborhood this afternoon. Of course I am because um, That's where I live <laughs> 
but I'm gonna go in search of that badger again. Not that I'm gonna try to trap him anymore or anything, unless the, you know he shows up in somebody's yard and they are looking for that service. Otherwise, I don't I don't move animals that aren't in the moment in conflict with people or anything. But um, but I'm curious to see where the badger goes next. And I think if I take a walk around, maybe with Mahoney in the neighborhood there, look at the green strips and such, we might be able to find a badger hole that's backfilled that we can assume he's sleeping in today and kind of follow see if we can follow some of his progress from there because um because yeah it'd be interesting to see where he goes next i'm not sure what the story was that was really going on here you know with this one you know we had a we had a report a couple of weeks ago about a badger uh fighting a skunk in heritage and so it was almost surely the same badger um, whether it was the same skunk or not, I don't know. There may be a badger in Heritage going around eating skunks. It's possible. <laughs> so it'd be cool to follow that um, a little bit on foot. But uh, right now, I am headed over to do another case. Now, this is going to be a, a subcontract, kind of a cool deal. Um, some of the different pest control groups in Lethbridge have been communicating with me and sometimes giving me referrals and things for for some of the work that um, they'd rather not do uh, things like skunks right so or climbing in attics <laughs> or dealing with badgers you know um, so yeah and, and I, I in turn can refer some work for them when it comes to you know things like small animal um, exterminations and stuff that I don't really handle but I, I appreciate need to be done in some situations you know so any case um, Canyo Pest Control has a contract out here on the west side and they've got a couple of skunks burrowed in behind somebody's house um, that they would like me to trap and remove so I'm taking the same trap from the badger house moving it over to the skunk house and we will follow that case next as our live trapping case there are um i do have a couple other traps out around lethbridge um but those ones i have monitored by the residents because they're other side of town and stuff but when i guess something like this on the west side i think we can we can kind of monitor it you know as a fun thing to do on video <laughs> so we'll do this we'll do these this couple of skunks next um, and then after that, yeah, I'll head home and, and later on take a walk and see if we can find the badger. where he was that's where one of them was going there was two of them over there one ran over there oh yeah and the other one was trying to get underneath okay ha ha okay oh yeah a lot of these a lot of these units have a little space under the step so I'm out here in the neighborhood where I was trying to catch the badger and Mahoney didn't want to come because well she wanted to come but then she felt the air outside and she's like no uh, too cold <laughs> it is cold and I'm taking a risk I'm uh, I'm barefoot and it's six degrees below zero which was the threshold uh, for frostbite you know last time I got to six degrees below zero with my bare feet out here um, I came back with black toes so I don't think that's going to happen today. I'm telling myself that anyway. That's my mental thing. You know, my feet have definitely developed in the couple of years since I got that frostbite case. So I should be good to go. <laughs> um, this is an area where I wouldn't doubt we might be able to find the badger. Uh, this home here has ground squirrel, like good evidence of... Uh, a ground squirrel colony having taken up here but I don't see any big excavations that would indicate that the badger has found it yet um, 
So I just keep looking. That's about the best. This is about the best kind of badger area that I've seen thus far um, in the residences here. Got to check the green strip on the outside as well. This is the alleyway behind the residence where I was trying to catch the badger. Seemed like a good, not too busy of a human location to look. Place where if I was a badger in a neighborhood, I might want to find a nook. <laughs> Looks like they got everything filled back in here. It's good. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through a bit of the green strip here and then uh, get my feet out of the colt. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of mental to stuff like this and there's a lot of physical to it too and uh, if you start worrying about the temperature I think it doesn't do you any good and for whatever reason I haven't been able to control my mind to not thinking about it so <laughs> probably because my feet are telling my mind hey buddy uh, what are we gonna do about this <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna hit the green strip now and then go back to back to the comforts of warmth and home. <laughs> yeah, from this angle, you know, out here on the green strip, I can even see into some of these yards. Check this out. That is uh Definitely some excavation going on there. I wouldn't say that any of it looked recent though, but I think this has probably been a host. <laughs> that place has probably been a host to, to some of the badger's activity and um, probably had a ground squirrel population there too that it was going after. That's what it typically looks like, eh? digging after the ground squirrels like that. So yeah, um, this might be it for, for the day and finally for this video. <laughs> but if I don't run into any more sign, um, and even if that's the case, I'll come back out, you know, later on in the week here and uh, try to source the badger again maybe wear something on my feet if it's this cold but uh <laughs> yeah what can you say in on tv all the mysteries are solved by the end of the show in real life some of the mysteries never come to an end <laughs> <laughs>